Hey everyone, for the top 18 pre-challenge with our sponsor Swarovski, we were asked to choose one of four trends that Swarovski sees as a prediction and create a fresh nail art design that's sure to set trends in 2018. The design is to be done on one actual hand and includes Swarovski crystals and hand painting. I chose Gangstar, which is based off 90s hip hop and gangsta rap, where our bodies become our personal billboards, where gold chains and medallions are every day, in which they highlight our individual and creative expression. Pieces tell a personal story and give a cultural message. Bigger is better, encapsulates the entire style direction. I immediately knew where I would begin with this trend. I designed and airbrushed a pair of jeans back in high school in 1992. Total graffiti style, using graphics, symbols, and graffiti to highlight my creative expressions and clothing. Swarovski is right on track with their predictions, as seen here, with the newest generation, which is my 16-year-old daughter, sporting the jeans I created back in the 90s hip-hop era. I decided to throw in a graffiti rose as that is my daughter's middle name and wanted to show some love for her bringing back my high school trends. I needed a graffiti tagline for my initials to express my individualism of style boldly so I created my own typography. Since I was my own hand model, I needed to create most of my art ahead of time and chose to do this on palette paper. First, I put a layer of tack-free gel top coat from Wildflowers and cured. This allows the design to be peeled off the palette paper. I wanted to use colors from the trend prediction and use CND shellac for all my hand painting which began with the graffiti rose. I then went into my high school airbrushed design. I needed a big canvas for my gangsta nails so I gave myself an extra long sculpted liquid and powder set which began with a black and custom gold ombre fade on the back side. I covered it all with a cover pink. Could now begin the magic. I used shellac's Creekside for the base of the airbrushed graffiti look and shellac's banana clip for the base of my graffiti tagline on the pinky. Using a dry brush technique, I applied shellac's Acquaintance and Cream Puff over the three Creekside colored nails. The background needs to resemble a shiny sports style jacket, so I used Wildflower's Opal Chrome Pigment on the blue nails and used Wildflower's White Chrome on the pinky to give the bold gold look of jewelry. Old jewelry and jeweled nails are part of the trend prediction for Gangstar, so I began using a large Swarovski crystal in aquamarine, which I wrapped in gold craft wire to become the focal point of my thumb, and I held it all together using builder gel. Back to the graffiti nails, lightly buff the finished surfaces so we can start to apply the pre-made palette paper design. I cut out the design and applied it with nail glue. design is to resemble the Adidas shell toes, very popular in 90s hip hop and again today. I used builder gel to paint on the shell design, then one coat of shellac cream puff, wildflowers tack free top coat, and wildflowers white chrome, and finished with tack free top coat. I then applied my gorgeous aquamarine and gold wire embellishment with clear acrylic. Let the bling fun begin. I used builder gel to adhere Swarovski crystal pixies edge cuts around the large stone. And trust me, just when you think you won't knock that jar of them over, you most definitely will. So don't be like me. Make sure to put the cap back on immediately after using them. Using Builder Gel, I continued to build the beautiful embellishment with more Swarovski crystals, all within the trend Pantone. Then I blinged out my graffiti style, airbrush looking hand painted design using more Builder Gel to adhere the crystals. To complete the Gangstar look with my signature, I hand painted my initials in my custom graffiti style lettering, which also resembles my astrology sign, the Gemini. To finish it off, I applied more Swarovski crystals and designed another bold, wire-wrapped Swarovski jewelry looking piece, again using crystal colors within the Pantone of the trend to resemble the crown of my queen tattoo and part of my new graffiti initials tag. As six of the top 18 will unfortunately be eliminated, let's hope this graffiti gangstar look will reserve me a place in the top 12.